best of luck with that. Now, I'm very excited because our next guest is famous for giving poorly pets a new lease of life uh, thanks to the groundbreaking surgery techniques showcased in his heartwarming Channel 4 series. I love it. Have a look at this. Come on, mate. Come. Good boy. Go good forward. Boy. That's it. There you go. That's good it. boy. That's it. So you can see he's actually doing fine. He's just excited now. Right. Up we go. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Good boy. That's it. So how are you going to know if something goes wrong? If it dislocates, he won't want to put it down. Right. And you'll know. And we've agreed that, you know, at, at six weeks, if it doesn't work out, then morally, uh, from his welfare perspective, that that might be the outcome. But at the moment, there's no evidence that he's having any problems whatsoever. Wow. It's always so great to watch, honestly, Noel. Uh, his latest project, the Super Vet Noel Fresh Patrick, uh, swapping the surgery for the state and the nationwide arena tour for animal lovers everywhere. And he's with us now. Good morning. So, Thank you, guys. It's always, a, like, it's always a, it feels like a sunshiny it's day. It's so cozy when, when I come. In. Thank you. Man, it's just great to have you with us. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. I love, uh, I enjoy your company. Thank you. Thank oh, you. thank you very much. So when did the idea to, to do the tour come about, Noel? A few years ago, I did one before COVID. And I'd written a few books, and I, I really wanted to see how they connected with people. Mm -hmm. I love, well, as you can see from that and from our hug when I came in this morning, I love connection. Yeah. I think that's the essence of being human, you know, love, hope, yeah. faith, yeah. all the things that allow us to feel worthwhile. Yeah. And that's what's lovely about you, is the fact that you do connect with your audiences. Not only that, you actually stay behind and meet the audience, don't you? Yeah, that's my favorite bit. So uh, on the show, uh, I do dad dancing better than you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Anna. To the tune of Harry Styles. Very good. Very pleased to hear. <laughs> it's a bit of a laugh. I, I like to entertain. I'm Irish. I love to tell a bit of a yarn, a bit of a story. We have a bit of interaction and we have uh, a bit of music and we have some stories like the one of Bran you just, sh you just showed on yeah. just now and how that can be uplifting and how that can be insightful for us. But yes, I do meet people afterwards. So what time are you getting home in the and, evening? And you were talking <laughs> earlier about presents that people get. Yeah. And I get the best. Yeah. Oh, the best. What do you get? My favourite last time round was a small boy who... You he, got a small boy? He, he was a... He was, <laughs> he, he was, he was Here's he a had, child. He had a disability and he had spent a whole month knitting a sweater, a, no. a, a, a scarf and a hat for me. And it was like, it was like me meeting, you know, one of my heroes. Yeah. It, it, oh. It's remarkable to see that. Oh, sweet. And it's so beautiful. So I was, lo I was lo delighted to be in his company. Your, yeah. your poor tour manager, the person that's responsible for getting you from A to B, must they well, must he, tear the hair out. They must be like, no, you've it's got to funny, go to sleep. No, I don't spend any time in, in the room afterwards. I just go out and say hello and give people a hug. One lady on the last who was somewhere up in Scotland, it was like it was raining, raining, raining. She was drenched through. I had to take off my jacket and give it to her. Yeah. And she took it. <laughs> and, uh, it. No, but the people are very kind. And what I find on the show is I just want to tell people the truth about how I see veterinary medicine going forward. But in the midst of all of that, give them a bit of fun, give them a bit of laughter, and people want to go out to be entertained. Oh, and so how does it work, Do you go out and someone, do you do a Q&A, or does someone interview you, or do you have, like, videos and slides? I and tell stuff? various stories uh, with some video support, some music support, a bit of dad dancing to Harry Styles. Yeah. I can't uh, believe you are seriously a massive Harry Styles fan, aren't you? Have you I mean, even been to his concert, haven't you? I, I have, and... Uh, Harry was a really good example for me in the book and in the show of the universal string of oneness that connects us all through mm -hmm. love. I happened to be at a Harry Styles concert, true story, was walking out, you know, incognito. Somebody taps me on the shoulder and goes, you're, you're the super vet. I'm like, yes. My cat's about to lose his leg. And, and I just looked at him. No, he's not. <laughs> and two days later, they were at my practice. So indirectly, Harry's love put out to me saved yeah. Oz at the cat's leg. Isn't that beautiful? It's amazing. Fantastic. You put out love, you get why love did, back. Why did they think that he was going to lose his leg? Did another vet say that we're going to have yeah, to amputate? Yeah, yeah. So do you, or that's like the last resort for that to happen? Well, it's it? A, this is one of the things we talk about in the tour. So the tour is entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's funny. It, I like to have a laugh. 
Uh, but it's also educational. It's, I talk a lot about conservation, and I talk about ethics, and I talk about what's right to do, what's not right to do. Yeah. And, I, and this is a big hot topic for me. You know me, Dermot. Yeah. It's a big, big subject for me. And I think as veterinary professionals, we need to be careful. We don't get distracted by anything except the core principles of the animal and what's right for them. Yeah. So the answer to your question is amputation's fine for many animals, and they manage just fine. But sometimes there are other options, and I'm a big fan of explaining all the options to all of the people, all That's of the lovely. time. Yeah. Really uh, lovely. You men mentioned conservation. You spent some time in South Africa recently, right? Yes. Tell us about that and what were you doing? Yeah, the remarkable thing about being in South Africa was the commonality between all of us, lions, tigers, elephants. We forget, and I wanted, in that particular show, which is Super Vet Special, I wanted to allow us to realize what it was like for animals in their homes. Mm -hmm just like we do for animals in our homes. Yeah. And I'd love to transfer that message to the world. And that's the, the big reason I go out on tour is to connect with these kinds of messages yeah. and say to people, you know what I did, regenerative medicine on a tiger that had osteoarthritis in its elbow, and it's a big cat. Its elbow is slightly bigger than ours. Main thing to remember is try not to lose a hand because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a surgeon. Uh, but it was magnificent to interact with Look those that. amazingly beautiful animals that are nearing extinction, and it's our moral responsibility. I want to make people realise we're all on the planet together, let's look after each other, yeah. man and animal, woman and animal. And obviously you've worked on smaller cats before. Is it the anatomy roughly the same, but just bigger and yes, bigger inside? Yes, exactly. That must be amazing. It, it is amazing. And I was in a, it was remarkable, I was in a town called Bethlehem, which is really wonderful for a boy who grew up in Catholic Ireland, looking <laughs> up at a star and wishing on that star, age 10, to be clever enough to make a difference. And it was remarkable to be back with a cat with similar anatomy, only bigger than the animals on the farm in which I grew up. Yeah. It was no, I don't know how you find the time, because you literally don't stop writing, being a vet, you know, getting out to South Africa, filming, touring, and then somehow you found time to run the London Marathon. <laughs> How did you find time to run the London <laughs> When did you even train? Uh, I, so I trained between midnight and 2 a.m. And I'd never actually run a marathon because I'd only had time to train for a half a marathon. Oh, my God. Because I can run for two hours. That's all the time I have. Because yeah. then i got to do the reports and go to bed. But I ran with a picture <laughs> of Kira, my dog, in my pocket because oh. I needed that. And I've written a little something special for the, my next tour about her. Yeah. I can't wait to share that with people. But um, I think it's important to give the message to people, look, we have all kinds of excuses for doing what we don't want to do. But the reality is if you really want it and it's good for you and it's good for everybody else to inspire them, why wouldn't you do it? Yeah, absolutely. So I am a big fan of that. Last night I was operating on a dog called Dimitri for several hours and I came here this morning because I love you and I love being here. But Dimitri is one of the stories in my tour and he kept his dad company while his dad was dying of cancer. And yesterday, was his dad's, would have been his dad's birthday. And we gave Dimitri back to his mom, who misses his dad. Yeah. And the family's reunited in spirit. That's and that's, right. that's what I do. Just briefly mm. before you go, you, you playing Glastonbury, is, is it this? Yeah, time? yeah. I get to You're be, I get two days off, <laughs> and I get to be on the same bill as Elton John. How many people <laughs> do that? So but, cool. I, but I am vet man in my outfit what in are the you kids' doing? field. <laughs> I am in the kids' field asking, answering questions like, why is a goldfish gold? That's great. And uh, wearing my cape and doing the adventures of great. Vetman. And not many people, it's so fun. It's not brilliant. many people the kids can say, the is incredible. I was on the <laughs> same bill as Elton John. Thank you very much. Drop the mic. You are smashing <laughs> life, Noel. Um, so exciting. Beyond Super Vet is on tour right on now. Tour. Tickets are available now. Thank you Thank so Thank you very so much. much. You know, still just, to come. Just like proper cup half full when you're in, Noel. It really is. Thanks like, so much. Proper life affirming. the best hugs yeah. ever. Thanks, Thank you. Uh,